Welcome back to some vacation vibes, guys. I'm here with Christina, <laughs> who is our cruise hater. Now, so bad. In case you guys are wondering, we are now in Nassau, which is our last stop on our cruise, which means we have completed the cruise up until this point. Christina here went on a cruise years ago, paid for the experience, and said she'd never go back again. So I said, I bet Vacation Vibes can fix that. And at the end of today, we're going to ask Christina. Last day. It's the last day. I don't know. <laughs> this might this might be a hint as to how well this experiment went, but we're gonna ask her if she wants to book another cruise. Grab the cruise hater that you have at home, show them this vlog series, and say, "See, cruises are not that bad." You ready to cruise? Just watch me. We are finally checked out of the hotel and on our way to Terminal A over to Royal Caribbean to begin Christina's first, <laughs> first. <laughs> best cruise. Um, Alright, listen, for the people who don't know, Christina hates cruises. Um, I don't want to say hate, I just had a very bad first experience so I was in my mind after that first experience. I was perfectly content with never going on one again, and that was in like 2016. So then she saw Vacation Vibes, and she was like, you know what, the vibes are vibing, maybe I'll give us another shot. So uh, she was like, hey girl, let's, let's try this again. And so we sat down, and I think I picked the perfect cruise to compare side by side to the first cruise she went on. Her first cruise was a three day, itty bitty carnival tugboat cruise, and um, it was true. It was trash. Um, I think I picked the perfect, not so big, not too small cruise, headed to the perfect destination for just a quick, quick weekend cruise, mm -hmm. even though it's Monday and it's not a weekend, but close enough. I just need to be around the water. It's bad. Right and now. she really needs a vacation, so I think I'm, I'm capitalizing on the fact that almost any vacation will do, so. <laughs> <laughs> This cruise is one of the most important cruises I've ever been on. As a cruise vlogger, I get tons of questions from people who have not cruised asking me if it's scary, if it's boring, and etc. So I am so excited to take not just Christina, but all of you new people to cruising on the most amazing first cruise. I was like, I'm a little nervous. There's no reason to be nervous, but slightly nervous, more excited than nervous. Ready to get on the boat and be on the water. We're about to show Christina the promenade for the first time. Let's get a reaction, shall we? Are you ready to see this? Yeah. Yeah. How's <laughs> Impressions of the promenade. It don't feel like a boat. It feels like I'm in a mall. I feel better about it though, because the whole idea of just like a big boat was weird to me. But now, this is now we're not in a boat anymore. Now we're yeah, in a now ship. I'm in a mall. I'm in a mall. <laughs> All right. First impressions of everything. Oh, um, my brain is like, look that way. Look this way. Squirrel, like <laughs> very overwhelming, but in a good way. There's a lot to look at. It doesn't feel like a bow. Water. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> she hasn't looked at me like one time. She's oh. been looking at everything else, which is fine. She's excited. Let's go this way. I feel like a child right now. <laughs> She's just super excited, which is cool. Hey guys, hold on. Cheers. Cheers. Here 
at the wind jammer so I kind of want to know what she thinks about the food so far um, because that might be one of the things that she doesn't love about cruising um, it's one of the things people certainly ask me about and I always say cruise food is some of the best food you'll ever have but it's just a primer it's just so we have something on our tummy so then we can show her the bar that's where it gets good food. overall it was good clearly I cleared my damn plate um, I'm a sweets person so the Oreo cheesecake I probably could have had all that versus what I had but I will say it's tricky for me with eating in general because I'm pescatarian for the most part say it that way um, there was a few seafood options but it did have like chicken in it so I just had to like move my way around it um, but I know like when we actually go to the places for dinner I'll have more options for that but what I did get was good it really was. 7 out of 10 7 out of 10 so far all right, you know how vacation vibes gets down. First stop is the bar for our first drink before sail away. All right, so we are headed to Lime and Coconut for our first drink. Much needed first drink. I made a plan to take her to one of my favorite bars, the Lime and the Coconut. Christina's first cruise drink. Okay, so now we are headed to our room. Uh, as seasoned cruisers, we know what to expect from cruise cabins. Um, <laughs> yes, she. Uh, we do have an interior cabin, yes. um, and I know that Christina would have preferred a balcony, yeah. but we're trying to do this trip on a budget, so. That we, balcony was not balcony price. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> I think, what was the price difference between? It was a good 400 more, more for, balcony. for a balcony. So we stayed with our interior. Um, I have never had an interior stateroom, like a regular one on Royal, so I will also be checking this out for the first time. So we shall see. My bag's way down there. All right, our bags are here. We're at our room. Let's get um, first impressions. All right, we'll let... How do you open it? I don't even know how to open it. Figure it out. I'm not gonna say nothing to her. No! <laughs> um, yeah, I don't work it out. There's no key thingy. You <laughs> sure? Oh. There's a key thingy! <laughs> Oh, it's just never mind. Okay, sometimes it's a slot. Okay, okay. Cool. We don't have to keep the key in the thing. No key. In the thing. And then here's our room. Oh, okay. Go cozy. ahead. It's very cozy. Okay. This is really not bad for an interior, guys. It's like very mirror. spacious. Multiple mirrors. This is great. Oh, wow. Okay, you like the Thank multiple you. mirrors. <laughs> it's not horrible. Not horrible? I can deal with it. Yeah? yeah? Okay. And then we have our couch here, which is always where you just put all the contents of your suitcase. That's what I'll say. And then <laughs> that's going to be us. <laughs> okay, Christina, we need to go check out the bathroom. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why am I acting nervous? Like, something will pop out at me. Okay. Where's the little light? Don't even know where the light's at. It's okay. It's okay. It is better than the hotel. <laughs> I can do this. The, the mirrors makes me happy. Lots of mirrors. This is cute. Very cute. For some reason, I think even though I wanted the balcony, that maybe not seeing the water will make me more comfortable. I don't know if that makes sense. I mean, that's an interesting theory. So people who've never um, cruised before in the comments, please tell me, um, would it make you more comfortable to see the water or to not see it and kind of just be. I think a lot of times people think in their head, not being able to see outside will make them more nervous. That's true. 
um, maybe give you guys a rapid fire uh, room tour. So I know some of y'all are like, that's it, that's a room tour. No, 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 no. Rapid fire room tour coming up right now. It's time for rapid fire room tour. We're at Craven, Freedom of the Seas. Interior room, let's get it. Mirror, bed one, bed two, lights. Wow, telephone, don't know why. TV, shelf. Refrigerator, cool, storage, 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 broken storage, 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 lights, people, hidden storage, another one, plugs, not our kind of plug, announcement channel, might come in handy, lights, closet, <sighs> extra racks, hangers, safe, storage, safety vest, Time for the mustard drill. Do you have to put this on for real? Yes, put it on for the mustard drill. Okay, and we gotta walk down like that. No! You gotta put that part between your legs. No! And you gotta hook it around. Absolutely not. <laughs> Dang it, I tried to prank her. Anyways, bathroom tour! Toilet! Flusher! Always scary like that. Don't rush to the flush. Hidden storage. Yay! Sink, cup, oops, for unopened body bar, plastic doors for your plastic shower. Not a whole lot of room for activities. I'm a little dizzy. Can't even start moving yet. <gasps> Couch, artwork, curtains. Hold, please. Now you see it, and now you don't. Privacy. Stay on the couch. This is my room. No, my. Get out. Get. Mask for your convenience. These are actually so good. I love these masks. <sighs> and that's the room. Um, so Christina made a rookie mistake. She put her wine bottle in her bag. I warned her <laughs> about putting alcohol in your checked bag. If you're bringing on your wine bottle, it has to be in your carry-on um, to go through security. Otherwise, they can uh, go through your bag once they have it and take out all the things you tried to hide and sneak on. So we're going to see if they were nice and left it. Sometimes they do that. Or if they're like... Rookie. They're gonna enjoy my bottle. All right, let's find out. <laughs> Little Miss Manifest, it's gonna be in there. He took both of my bottles. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. <laughs> oh my god! Dang. <sighs> Party's over. Go home. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, they really did. Oh, I got both of my bottles. Oh no. Okay. Girl, where did you even put the put the bottle? So normally when when they take a bottle, they'll leave like a paper in there that says that they took it. There's there's no papers. Ah! <laughs> Hold on tight to your bottle, girl. Can we open it now? <laughs> I was literally my heart was like, oh, this crew is going to suck all over again. It's she was bullshit. down there ready to cry, y'all. But I had to turn off the camera. She was upset. I was very upset. But then I was like, wait. I was like, hold on, hold on. We got to find that paper because they will tell you, <gasps> hey, we found your stuff. We are not going to give it back or we are going to give it back oh. on, on this night. If they take your bottle, like, like a wine bottle, I think they will give it back to you on the last night. Reason being is because they allow one per adult guest. Um, so they assume that you took the one that you had through security and they don't want you to have extra, but, um, we're not gonna make the mistake again. Look how stressed. I was so stressed. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Cause I plan, honestly, I want to be drunk. So some people might be like, what is that in that bottle? Cause it's not wine. I'm not um, a wine drinker. She's not a wine drinker. So we went to Total Wine and actually shout out to Noemi, Noemi baby. You guys know her. She brought, um, a bottle like this from uh i think total wine as well it was a different brand but it is actually um agave wine so it's a wine cocktail and it's margarita lime and apparently these work um she brought a couple on um uh the uh, melanin sea cruise and they were delicious um so we got a couple of these the other night i bought one for the house that's a spicy margarita so shout out to playa Vallarta. um y'all wine cocktails are good so these are fine i'm gonna say they're fine so if you want to bring them i've now gotten three of these on the cruise um and she got one in her check bag so 
for the wine drinkers out there, try the uh, the, the, the margarita, the margarita uh, wines. These uh, these taste really really good. They do not taste like wine. Uh, all right, so mustard drill, we got that out the way. Um, our phones are in the room charging, so while that's going on, we um, decided we we're still a little hungry. We came in to grab some pizza from Sorrentos. We love Sorrentos. Um, and uh, she also got some fried artichoke, which I've never had the fried artichoke here, so that's interesting. Not a favorite. Honestly, it'd be better if it wasn't fried. It was just like warm artichoke, and it's actually cold, so like very cold. So we gonna eat the pizza. Oh, it is. Oh. That artichoke is from the Arctic. Um, if it was fresh, it probably would be good, yeah. but it's definitely it's been sitting out since like Thursday. Ew. Much better. Okay. okay. So we were talking about food on the cruises because I brought like my protein shakes, and she was like, that's one thing you don't have to worry about. And what I was going to say is that I can see where on cruises this is where like you save the most money or one of the ways you save the most money is the food because when I go on my trips by myself like to Miami or wherever I go 90% of my money is spent on going out and food so without having to pay for so much of the food it could easily save like for like $700 that's it Pretty much all you pay for on top of the cruise is the alcohol. Of course there are other extras, you can get a massage, you can pay for Wi-Fi, things like that. But for the things that you'll need essentially on a vacation, activities, food, things, you know, places to go, things to see, it all comes together. You don't have to buy a ticket to anything. Um, you don't have to pay for food. Now there are options, obviously, which we're going to explore those options together too to see if they are worth it to her where you can um, pay extra for some finer dining. But um, yeah, food is a big, big deal in the cruise industry. Let's head upstairs to sail away. I told Christina that I felt them uh, drop the anchor and um, she immediately got a little nervous. Why do you feel nervous about I that? I really wish I knew, like... In case you're wondering what it feels like when they, uh, not drop the anchor, but when they uh, pull it up, I should say, it's just like a little vibration you can kind of feel underneath your feet if you're paying attention. Anyway, though, we're in line at El Local Fresh. Um, I saw the guacamole and I got really excited, so... Uh, hopefully it's good. And I also have, um, this lovely Cosmo Sunrise. Delicioso. You got tequila, you got mango, you got orange, you got grenadine, you got all the good stuff. Go ahead and get you one, girl. We are officially moving. How does it feel? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it feels weird because like, I don't feel like I'm moving. Like my body's moving. Well, I mean, my body's not moving, but like the whole thing, I don't feel like I'm moving until I look out and I'm like, oh, everything around me. So it's weird. That's sure. Yeah, so. It looks so pretty though. Like, with the sun going down in like this city in Miami, it looks beautiful. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bill. I'm a rural Caribbean. Freedom of the seas. We're sailing out of Miami. It's going to be a great time with my wife, Heather, Ashley, and Chris. There's an airplane, we're gonna have a good time. And back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> During sail away, a pro tip is to find yourself a spot on the railing facing away from the cruise port. The views are breathtaking from this high up and you get to wave goodbye to everyone. Sunset during sail away is the most magical. So we are in good and dressed, ready to go out for um, dinner. We're gonna go to the main dining room. Um, I'm very interested to see if Christina's gonna like the food there. I might have hyped it up a little bit, so we'll see if, if I've given it too much, too much sauce. Outfits, outfits, y'all always want to see the outfits. Kind of. Ooh. <laughs> Out here trying to get them free drinks. Absolutely. Hey, you know, you know. <laughs> okay. 
We got the gams out tonight. A little side slit action. Yes. Oh, it's the pose. Oh. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's go to dinner. Okay, here we go. Our first night in the main dining room. I was curious as to how this was gonna go with our picky eater. It was pretty solid on the menu, so I figured she would like it. Okay, so we are in the main dining room. We have a really lovely table up against the window. All right, so um, let's start with the bread. We got options. We got this soft cheesy bread, and then we got like the good, you know, French baguette bread and the good soft butter. So I'm about to dig on. Breaking news. <laughs> Christina, the police said the bread is good. Okay, listen. As always, I'll give you the nice glamour shots with all the food that we're eating. And um, I will let you know whether it was good or not, what my favorites were. But most importantly, I want to know uh, what Christina's favorites or takeaways were from dinner. Wow. Taking selfies at dinner with the whole selfie life. You the one that gave me the light. I did, I was trying to help her out, but look at this. First one's here. Crack cake. Make it off. Little soap. Okay. It's good. Goes in for a second one. Mm -hmm. Wants us to leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I wanted her to try was the escargot. And if you don't know what that is, that's the snail swimming in butter sauce. Yes. Okay. Christina's going in for her escargot. First time. First time ever having escargot. Oh my god. Yeek. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. For some reason, it reminds me of like I'm on the scallops. I'm on. Like it's not bad though. It's good. I've finished all of them. I give it a 8.5 out of 10. Okay, so it was worth trying some snails. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> it just—it's crazy saying I, I eat snails. It's like ew, but they're good. Our main dishes didn't disappoint as Christina had the fish and I had the steak. The desserts were definitely delicious as well. Well, mine's was a little weird. Honestly, it tastes like jello pudding. <laughs> Y'all look at this. Hold <laughs> <laughs> Next up on the agenda for the night was to see the ice show. Now, I knew that the ice show would be a huge win for Christina as these shows on Royal Caribbean are a step up. Ice skating on a ship is a feat to behold and I knew it would be super impressive to her. And when I looked over, she was having a great time. If you ever dreamed of being an ice skater as a child, sitting front row at these shows can be something magical. These are some of my most favorite moves that we saw that night. I recommend seeing the ice show anytime you're aboard Royal Caribbean. every day that's crazy and then I saw this one say Friday I was like oh no it was just the name of the elevator she's like no it's supposed to say Monday <laughs> my very first Royal Caribbean cruise 
it was like the, one of the last days of the cruise and we got in the elevator and this girl was like I have been looking for the Tuesday elevator since we got here and everybody in the elevator it was a full elevator everybody got quiet <laughs> and her friend was like what are you talking about and she goes Ever since we got on, I've been trying to find the elevator that we took the first time. It's a Tuesday. Oh. Girl, it was, it was Saturday. Poor baby. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> and her Good friends were like, we're so sorry. She's an oh. idiot. There's our door. Um, shout out to Travel Spree and Stateroom Statements for the, uh, for the magnet. <laughs> First day of the cruise is over. The last thing we did was go to freedomice.com, oh. um, which is the ice show. And I think that you said that you were nervous about the show. Yeah. I really liked it. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was good. I watched the whole thing like I glued the whole time. It wasn't times where I'm like, okay, thinking about something else or like bored. So very entertaining. I'm happy, happily surprised. I was in there, I was like, ooh, she likes the show. <laughs> <laughs> like a child. <laughs> the little girl. Oh, there was a cute moment where this little girl in the front row was just standing up the whole time and she was dancing along. <laughs> and when they grabbed her and put her in the boat, I was like, ah! She, she was crying. No, no, I wasn't. You I don't, you gonna no. lie to the people? Mm, absolutely not, because I didn't cry. Anyway, <laughs> um, so day one is done day one is on a done. cruise. Uh, we are finished. We are so tired. Y'all know. Y'all know I like to end it in the club. But we have an early morning tomorrow because we are going to be at Coco K. We had a jam-packed day there. So we're going to get some rest tonight. Much needed. Rest. Yes. So let's eat. You guys see good? <laughs> um, day one very very enjoyable so when we went to dinner we got a little bit nervous again not gonna lie because they had us sitting by the big window and all i just seen was like white waves passing me i'm like this is real fast i don't know so i noticed like if i'm paying attention to the water is when i got nervous when we're going faster um but when she said like we're just like floating and i can actually see the waves a little bit better i was cool day one so far would i come back yes so far <laughs> listen. Okay. All right. Okay, best friends, don't listen. Don't get too excited because we got plenty more time to mess this up. Okay, so we're just gonna we're just gonna take what we got. First we're show. Keep, it good. keep it trucking. Okay, wait. Since now you you know that seeing the waves makes you a little nervous. If we had a balcony room. So yeah, back to that. I, actually, I would say everything happens for a reason as it is. I think having a balcony probably wasn't. No, if we would have had a balcony, it would have been a bad thing, I think. Hmm. Nighttime, though. During the day, I think I'd love the balcony. During night, mm, I'm okay with not that. Because it's all black. You don't see anything but fast waves coming. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, that's the end of the vlog today. Um, we did it. Yeah, let's see what we do next time. We well, yeah. Bye. Good morning, best friends. It is day two aboard Freedom of the Seas. We are out on the Lido having breakfast because the wind jammer is jam packed. There is not a seat to be had this morning. It's about nine o'clock in the morning, uh, so obviously a hot time to have breakfast, but um, I am shocked at it how there's like no tables. I've never had an issue finding a table in there. With that being said, we just came out to Lido and there's plenty of tables out here uh, to choose from and argu arguably probably a better view than sitting inside. So, Christina's out here in line enjoying her view of Coco Cay in the background. Um, I'll show you our breakfast. That feels good. I'm happy. Very happy. I slept like a baby. I was very nervous, like 
the Rocky was gonna keep me up. We good. Um, I just want to get my swimsuit and be on the beach like now, but very very happy so far. Better than I expected. Yay! Okay, we're gonna eat up and um, head off the ship. We have finally made it out of the ship, headed into perfect day at Coco Cay. This was the whole reason why um, I chose a Royal Caribbean cruise um, to take her on. I felt like Coco Cay would really sell it for her on a short cruise. So we have passes to the water park, which is going to be our first stop. Get the water park out of the way before we start drinking. Yeah. And um, yeah, now for my black women who are watching this video oh, oh. and like, girl, where are you finna go on this water park with that hair? I have rigged a system to keep it together. We're gonna see if it works. We're gonna see if it works because that's more than a rig. That's like a manufacturer. <laughs> I am an engineer. Yes. So the hair gonna be all right. We, we gonna, I'll explain later. <laughs> My dear, that is the tallest water slide Yay. in North America, right there. Give me that. Hello from my waterproof baggie. So, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what I did. I got my shower cap, put it over my hair, tied it down real tight, real tight on my skull. Got a cute little uh, scarf, tied that whole bag too. And here we are. All right, so we are doing Dueling Demons first. The nice, nice lifeguard, Ibrahim, downstairs, uh, who weighed us before we came upstairs, told us that there is a long queue for uh, Devil's Peak. So he uh, told us to do, I'm um, already out of breath, the dueling situations oh, first. Yeah. That is the one with the drop floor. I'm already scared. <laughs> We made our way up to our very first slide of the day, which was Dueling Demons. And y'all, this is the best way to start off your thrills. Let me explain how this crazy slide works. They put you in this little tube, shut this plastic door on you as you lean up against the wall with water rushing. And all of a sudden, the floor drops from underneath you. Bye. Oh my gosh, listen, I was very scared. And here goes your girl dropping out the slide. Guys, y'all can see nothing in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <they're screaming. laughs> All right, now we head up to Daredevil's Peak. Guys, <laughs> um, listen, the dueling situation. That was it. That was. I think that's gonna be my favorite for sure. That was. Woo! Talk about shaky legs. Oh yeah. When you say cross my legs. <laughs> All right, we're going to the big one. The record holding slide. Let's do it. Okay. All right, so there is a little bit of a line to do up there, Devil's Peak, but it's not too bad. I think we have about a uh, 30 minute wait according to that sign back there. So, not too bad, but it's so pretty. Gives you time to let the heart rate come down um, after uh, the dueling demons. Yeah, because that drop, you just. <laughs> <laughs> Daredevil's Peak is so long and fast that I barely got any footage because my camera did not want to cooperate, but believe me, hold your breath. <laughs> Bye, Christina. Bye. <laughs> All right, here 
go. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, no. Shut up, you're next. Christina's taking the pink side. I got the yellow side. Arisha! Oh, okay. Honestly, the manta racers were not that fast, but they're a lot of fun. Next up, we head to the other side of the water park to conquer the big slides. All right, next up we got like the toilet bowl situation and the, uh, I don't even know what you would call that thing, but uh, <laughs> we're gonna do it. Guys, look, the hot air balloon is actually up today, amazing. I don't think I've ever seen the hot air balloon go up on anybody's vlog, so that's amazing. Okay, first up is the toy. toilet toilet bowl. The twister ride. Splash Speedway was another favorite of ours. They are racing slides and one of them is the fastest, but I'm gonna leave it up to you to figure out which one it is when you visit. I won, by the way. And last but not least, the Big Kahuna, the slingshot. Last slide of the day. Sir. Hey. Hey.
just looking for food. Hey guys, um, we just finished um, having a little snack at the snack shop. Um, I had this shack burger and mozzarella sticks and Christina unfortunately had a chicken sandwich even though she's pes pescatarian because there are no options for that besides a salad um, and she needed some extra food on her belly before we start drinking so um, Royal Caribbean can do a little bit better with the options um, for people who with um, picky diets off the boat um, and Alright, our adventure in the water park has come to an end. We now head um, over to South Beach, take a lay on the beach for a little while, get some relaxation. All the climbing up the stairs took a toll on the body, y'all. So I'm ready for some beach time. I'm very, very excited for that. up and I'm like, where am I? Great surprise, meet on the beach. Ready to turn up. We needed a little moment to recharge after all the fun at the water park, but now we are ready to head back into the water um, in pursuit of drinks. There's a little float out, our swim out bar, floating in the middle of the uh, water there. And uh, I think we're gonna check it out. Come with us. Our bellies are in it. We'll get used to it. No, The floating bar is a small but unique attraction here at Coco Cay that I would say swim out there and try it at least once. The drinks were strong and we had a great time with Anthony, our bartender. We have shut the beach down. We are on the walk back to the ship. I we're gonna do a little drive by by Oasis Lagoon just so Christina can see it. <laughs> we'll drive by by. Oh wait, okay, listen. <laughs> I'm gonna point it out. We had a great time in the little floating bar. <laughs> Floating bar was good, it was fun, whatever. Anthony was what great. What happened there? Shout out to Anthony. Um, we might have told this young couple that they need to have tequila shots and then they bought us some shots too. And then we just had a lot to go. Anyway, it's a hot air balloon. Yeah. Help. I'm not even drunk. What? I got a good like, Five more, I mean. <laughs> Go that way! Ah, no! Drunk and running! We're going on a trip to Oasis Lagoon. Look! We're gonna get right over by a tram, Jesus. Get out the way! Get out the way! In case you wondered what the seagulls did when we left and there was no more french fries to have. So I did show Christina Oasis Lagoon and it was completely empty and at first we could not figure out why but later on I found out that there was a code brown and they had to get the people up out of there. Yikes! <laughs> We 
it is several several hours later it's nine o'clock right now we are headed to dinner we weren't able to get a reservation in the main dining room until nine o'clock which was a long time so we took showers had a bunch of nachos from a local fresh came back to the room took a nap got dressed and here we are so okay. <laughs> finally headed to dinner it's been a long day feeling a bit um sun drunk We headed down to the main dining room to have dinner, and here are some of the things that we selected. On this night, we were able to catch the dining staff doing their little dance around the dining room, which is something Christina had seen online and always wondered about, so it was cool for her to have that experience. After dinner, we had plans to see what the ship had going on for the nightlife, and we weren't disappointed. Okay, so we are now headed to the silent disco to go check that out. We got caught up in karaoke a little bit. Um, Y'all, there was this guy that sang Purple Rain in there. Killed it. And absolutely killed it. Had everybody in there acting silly. Went to church. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna drop a clip right here. <laughs> karaoke we made our way over to the silent disco and this was a lot of fun but awkwardly hilarious as well so here's how the silent disco works you get a pair of headphones and there are two different stations and there are two different djs on stage you can flip between the two colored stations to hear what each dj is playing and have your own party But once you take off your headphones and just listen, I'm telling you, it is so, it's downright funny. <laughs> Woo! 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 Woo!
What, what do you think it is? No. <laughs> what are you, dude? It's like the ears give elephant, but then it's not an elephant. It looks like something from Star Wars. Yeah, the weird thing with the long nose. <laughs> All right, what's good, vlog people? Um, we have put on our 2000s outfits for the club tonight. Um, to be real cute, we look like 3LW, Very much 2LW. So. Um, <laughs> let's chit chat for just a second about okay. your second day and um, the revelations we have had. Revelations, okay. So okay, okay. Uh, revelation at dinner was I will be on another cruise again. For sure. Um, I think the parts that I was nervous about definitely are no longer a thing. So the things that I was nervous about, like having enough time off of the boat, expenses, what was the other thing? Uh, being bored, the shows, all of that has been taken care of. So I definitely had enough time off of the boat. When it's time to go back, I was actually ready for a nap. So that says enough right there. Uh, spending, I think, together, we spent, like, what, like, $84 80, yeah. or something like that? And that's with two people. I was thinking I was going to spend another, like, $500 or something. So, that has not, tomorrow's going to be, I think, another test, though, because I feel like I'm not sure if I'm going to be bored or enjoy, like, just being a day on the sea. ship. Yeah. Yeah. All day. So, that's the only, I guess, test left. I think this will be your first day at sea because on your first tugboat cruise, it was a three day. So she yes. had embarkation, the day at the port, and then they were back home mm -hmm. the next day. So I don't think you've had like a full day at sea yet. Mm -mm. So we got to show her how we do a day at sea. And um, we got some activities lined up for tomorrow. So good morning, best friends. Our sea day started with the sunrise. We woke up at 6.45 a.m. and headed out to the helicopter pad in order to watch the sunrise. The water was so still and it was so quiet. It was almost eerie. Just take a listen. The sunrise was truly magnificent. Once we got our fill of the sun, we went back inside to get some Starbucks and some breakfast and take a nap. All right, good morning guys, a late morning. We are headed downstairs to Izumi um, for our lunch. Now, a few things have happened since then. We originally um, booked the sake and sushi experience where the chefs um, will make the sushi in front of you and it'll pair everything with sake. It's supposed to be this whole lunch experience. Well, they're not doing it today. I don't know why. And they tried to move it to tomorrow, which is when we have our day at NASA. So we are unable to do it tomorrow. So they said instead, um, oh, is it on four or three? It's on four. Um, Instead, instead, they said uh, that we could just do the prefix menu of basically for lunch and get a glass of sake in instead. So that's what we're doing. Um, this is six. We're so ready to go. Um, unfortunately, I'm really kind of sad that we're going to miss the pairing experience, but it should still be a good lunch. I haven't had sushi there yet. I've just done the abachi, so we're going to experience it. I know. Let's go. If you've sailed Royal and you have not been to Izumi, then I don't know where you have been and what you have been doing, but this is the one restaurant I always tell people they have to book if they're looking at specialty dining. Now we did do the sushi and sake lunch. Even though they went ahead and switched it up on us, that was annoying, but the food was so good. Enjoying our sushi. Um, we got the tuna tataki, and I got this spicy 
Shrimp, te shrimp tempura. Yeah. Shrimp tempura. Uh, the shrimp appetizer, whatever it was, was really oh, good. Oh, firecracker uh, shrimp spring rolls. Firecracker shrimp spring rolls. Delicious. I'm waiting on my um, crispy rice uh, spicy tuna to come. But we're just digging in as they bring the food out. Um, Saki's here. We got hot saki. Good. <laughs> All together now. <laughs> All of the sushi was amazing, the appetizers were amazing, and the dessert, the mochi balls, were good. After Izumi, we headed out to the Lido to go watch the belly flop contest. There's nothing like watching big old men flop on their belly for our entertainment, so um, let's go check it out. If you're new to cruising, a sea day is just a day where you hang out on the decks and do the fun stuff. So Christina and I are about to head back to the room, change, and do some activities. Vanessa. Yes, vacation vibes. Vacation vibes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what's up, what's up, YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> now we're cruising. This is the way how we put the straps so on our guests. Oh, yeah. I guess. All good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanessa. Shout out to you. You're the best. Thanks. Thank you. All right, so Christina's excited because she likes heights and stuff and adrenaline. Um, if you guys recall, I did this before with Deja, and she left me hanging because her nails is gonna break her nails. So we're gonna do it again, um, even though I don't really don't want to, but yay! If you're new here, then you don't know that your girl is afraid of heights, and I always try to conquer my fears. This is my second time on this rock climbing wall, and we decided to race up so that I can have something else to focus on besides my own fears. I put chalk on my hands because my hands get sweaty when I get scared and I just went up. Now right about here is when I started to get a little shaky um, and Christina was like, catching up to your girl but I wasn't having that. I got long limbs. Um, by the way, the different parts of the wall do have different difficulties and I definitely had the harder side of the wall. I'm just going to say that right here. I'm not admitting defeat, but I'm just saying I had a harder time and whoa, whoa, dude, you okay? All right, okay. <laughs> and here I was, I'm out of frame, but I am just a couple of inches away from my bell. I take a nice deep breath in and oh, did she, did she just, did she cheat? I think she did. Let's check it out.
Y'all saw her cheat. Y'all saw her cheat. Absolutely. Cheater. Cheater. After Christina cheated on the rock climbing wall, we went ahead and enjoyed our time in the back of the ship, enjoyed some sun and just the sound of the waves. It got a little hot, so then we had the grand idea of heading over to the hot tubs. Now, for new cruisers, I'll tell you one thing about the hot tubs. You can make friends here. So we met this couple, Tyler and Ashley. They were amazing. And we talked for hours. I'm talking till the sunset came. And they were a lot of fun. Here is Tyler realizing that I'm recording this whole thing. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Shake it, daddy. <laughs> We are pruny, feet are white, exiting the... Uh, white. Um, so <laughs> we spent way too long in the hot tub, but we had like great conversation with some new friends. That's always a great, I'm glad she had the experience. It's just a thing. Cruise hot tub, you're gonna talk, you're gonna meet people, you have best friends by the end of it. So it's cool. Um, I think we're just gonna head downstairs and maybe hang out for a little bit. We have dinner in a couple hours. Oh well, no, not for like three hours. We have time. Maybe we need to get a snack. I'm gonna get drunk. Okay. Um, <laughs> maybe we need to get a snack. Uh, snack and drunk. There we go. Pizza? pizza? All right, let's go grab some pizza. <laughs> Shot turn 92, 72. Vacation life is here. <laughs> Turns out we went and got pizza and knocked out. Had a little nap, got up and got ready for an elegant night. It was a French night in the main dining room. The chefs had a little party and we enjoyed ourselves. What? You're gonna see that I'm fat on YouTube. <laughs> After dinner, we got pictures in our dresses and headed back to the room to change for the fun stuff. Okay. Formal night has come to a close. We went to the main dining room and had, it was French night. Um, we had a lots of lovely foods, which I'm happy to display for you. Um, and uh, we got to wear our white dresses, matchy matchy. And then we just did another change uh, and we were headed to Quest. Now, if you don't know what Quest is. Like I don't, cause you won't tell me. Hmm? Like I don't, because she won't tell me what it is. If you don't know what Quest is, then I'm sorry about that. Um, we don't talk about Quest unless you're in Quest, so. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time though. <laughs> this is the only footage I have from Quest. You're just gonna have to try it out yourself to find out. But after Quest, we turned that place into the club and it went up on a Tuesday or whatever day it was. This is where I leave you as we party down with our friends, Tyler and Ashley, our team captain, Elliot, and so many other friends that we made that night. Everybody had a great time. This is definitely the most fun we had in the club. Um, guys, enjoy the vibes here um, and be sure to wait and see what's gonna happen next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Bring your friends over here and introduce them to the cruise life. It ain't so bad. <laughs> See you guys.
Good morning and welcome back to Vacation Vibes. We are here with Christina, um, our cruise hater. <laughs> On our last day of our cruise, we are this located way. in the Queen Staircase yeah. here at Nassau. I decided to start the day off with a little bit of sightseeing before the Vacation Vibes start. <laughs> Y'all know how we do when we get to Nassau. So do something a little, a little cute, a little historic. Um, if you've never been to the, stairca uh, the staircase, mm -hmm. Um, African slaves built the staircase um, a long time ago for the Queen. That's why it's called the Queen Staircase. Um, so it is a uh, a landmark for for some history context here in Nassau. Um, it's like a beautiful handmade cave with um, there's vegetation down here and everything down here was um, built by hand. So it's a place that people go for. Uh, for a little bit of tourism, a little bit of history, and beautiful pictures. So that's what we're gonna do pictures. today. Yes. I'm ready for the pictures. Now, what you're looking at is not an act of nature. It took 600 women, men, and children working 18 hours a day, 16 years to hand carve this up. It's 90 foot deep, 150 feet long, and 50 feet wide. He made the British felt that the French and Napoleon was going to attack the Bahamas, so the British funded him to build the forts, but instead he went into West Africa, mainly Ghana, taking 600 women, men and children, bringing them here and enslaving them and forcing them to hand carve this up, taking everything to the top to build the forts. If you look at the forts, they look like old steam all the ships, the reason being why, imagine, in the 1700s, there was nothing out there. And if you are passing by boat and you saw those forts with those cannons on there, you would assume that this is sea and not land, an illusion the British used to protect their territory. Now, in case of an attack, the governor and his family would go into the governor's mansion, coming through a tunnel that will bring them here to Fort Fincasa, yes, coming through the fort, through a tunnel, coming out through that frame down there on the wall, making their way back to the pier. She, that's good luck, she <laughs> abolished slavery in all British territory, freeing all of the slaves. The slaves didn't want to come back into this, not because they didn't appreciate her, but because many of those women, men, and children never made it out. And each time a slave would die, it was put a piece of flower or tree in those carvings along the side to decorate the canyon in memory of those that have passed away. So in the year 1901, when Queen Victoria died, those same descendants of the slave came back here to this canyon, knowing that you carve stairs from the top coming down, but no, they wanted to carve these stairs from the bottom going up. When they reached the 64, they realized that they couldn't get out of the canyon because they got mathematically challenged with the average and she reigned for 64 years. So they said, don't worry, be happy, and added two more stairs, making it 66 so they could walk themselves up the depths of slavery by putting the freedom. That's how this got the name, the Queen Staircase. Each stairs represents the year that Queen Victoria ruled, except for the additional two. Okay, so we have taken our pictures, and you now we're gonna count the steps on the, the way up. Um, you could have been the only one. Make sure that they're all there. Uh, if you're paying attention to our story time, you know how many steps there are. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Mistakenly covered to the bottom. So yes. That's why. It's supposed to be 66, but it's 65. That's we right. get it. It's not historically if you don't count it. I recommend to anyone who's leaving their country to travel to indulge in some of the cultures in the new country that you land upon. It really gives you a great sense of appreciation for this place and the people who live there. 
we had a lot of fun learning about Nassau, and now it is time to go to the beach and have some vacation vibe style fun. Our first stop was the Tiki Hut, and that's where we had a couple of drinks and enjoyed the shade. The menu here is super fun, so be sure to read that. Our taxi driver dropped us off here because I'm sure he has a deal with the restaurant, but they were nice enough to give us a free shot. So we've made it to the beach after our drinks. We got a free shot. Shout out to um, the guys at the Tiki Bar. Um, if you're nice to people, you'll just get free alcohol. Like, we love it here. That's, that's, a, that's a cruise <laughs> tip. Be nice to people, call them by their first name, and yeah. have conversation, you'll, and you'll get free stuff every time. I've been so, drunk the whole time and barely paid anything. We, we barely <laughs> bought drinks this entire cruise, and I think that's 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 points up for the cruises for yeah. um, Christina here. Um, we're on Junkanoo Beach. We're at the very, very end of the beach. It's very quiet here compared to the congestion. I don't know if you can see way down there, but everybody's down there. There's just a couple of people on this end of the beach. Look at that. Free beach. And it's just a walk away. So we did take the taxi here. It was a $20 taxi to go see... Um, Queen's Staircase, walk the fort, and then he dropped us off at the beach. So five dollars so round trip. So he, he can pick us up and um, drive us back. We did pay for a round trip. We don't have to take the round trip, yeah. but twenty dollars um, all the way. So we're gonna hop in the water and enjoy this this beautiful blue last ocean day. on our last last day. All right, jump in, Christina. She's like dying. <laughs> She's dying no. to get in the water. A little fishy. It's gonna be cold. Bye. Oh, bye. Bye. Well, you weren't gonna tell me. She's gonna let me run into fish. <laughs> Swim in the fish. You already probably walked through them, didn't even know, didn't even see them. It's okay. Friends, best friends, let me just tell you something about the ocean. There's living places. Shut in up! No, because Deja did the same thing on the Virgin Cruise. We was taking cute pictures. And in the pictures, she said, Oh, this fish is here, girl! Bitch, this fish is here! How'd she say it? Bitch, this fish is here! <laughs> fish is here! I said, I know. It's the ocean, girl. Where else are they supposed to be? <laughs> and then they had the white people laugh at us because she you knows fish in the there's a fish in the ocean all the time. Every day. <laughs> right now. They ain't bothering you. They're probably scared of you because you are the foreign thing that's not supposed to be in the water. But they're cute and they're they're adorable and they're friendly. Now if you see a shark, get out of the water. Fight! <laughs> no. Sharks in the Bahamas. Surprise! Enjoy the beach while you're here. <laughs> This is Junkanoo Beach, the most accessible free beach from the cruise port. While it can get crowded here, don't miss an opportunity to indulge in an easy, breezy day at the beach. started heading back to the port on foot, but we had to stop again when we saw a few irresistible deals on the beach. Bye, nice meeting you. I hope it comes in. Parents over quickly for you. Okay, so we're on at the first Thank stop you. when we get to Junkanoo Beach at Seagull. Yay. These lovely people are helping us. They have really good deals here. You get three beers, three shots for $12. You can get four shots for $10. Four Bahama Mamas, $20. So um, don't spend your money down down the beach. Stop right here at Seagulls. Shots first. All right, here we go. 
Because <laughs> why? She was about to say something. Anyway, though, no. thank you. Stop it. Oh, there we go. There we go. No, they, they, they. All right, second shot. Let's go. Second shot. Let's go. Okay. And take a sip. Yeah. Cheers. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Really light, really light beer right here in the Bahamas. Make sure you stop at Seagulls for great drink deals. Our new friends at Seagull suggested that we check out the Salty Crab for another good deal on some conch fritters. I totally forgot to get a video, but they give you six fritters here at the Salty Crab for five dollars. They're not the best fritters I've ever had in my life, but if you're looking for conch fritters for the cheap, five dollars, six fritters, you can't beat that in the Caribbean. Get on down here to the salty crab. You hear me? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay, the lighting sucks, but guys, what happened? You want to tell the people what happened? Guys. I'll tell the people what happened. <laughs> she fell on the beach. We were enjoying our food in the fritters. And she said, okay, time to go. She gets up. Next thing I know, she on the floor. In the sand. Let me somebody, that. But then some, no, somebody just reached up out no, the okay, sand no, no. and grabbed my leg. She fell. And then the bartender, everyone's like, oh my god, are you okay? Trying to help her. The bartender looks at us and what you drinking? Count us two more shots. Why do we get two more shots for falling? <laughs> Fall down a couple Fall times. Fall on the beach, you make it some shots. And you might. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and the other thing, she had two beers. I had two shots. How come I'm not falling? <laughs> it wasn't me. Somebody grabbed my leg and just whoop. I know I was gone. I was walking. I was on my way. And then I was in the sand. And then everybody said, we didn't see it. We didn't see it. I was like, I don't know about That's why we got another shot. Yeah. And then why is everybody at the bar from our ship so I can't even escape and act like it didn't happen? They're gonna be like, there go the girl that fell on the beach. We gotta hurry up and get home. We need to head up, head on back to Miami. I'm embarrassed. Miami, oh, you ready for the cruise to be over? Yeah, I'm embarrassed. My arm hurts. That, that was, I knew it did. Look y'all, it's DJ Mickey over here. Y'all, back again. Y'all, thank you so much for making him famous and asking for the shot ski. Every single time you guys come to the senior frog, keep asking for the shot ski. That's right. Um, and then we'll be back really soon and we're going to have some shenanigans here. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're going to be in spring break too. Oh, yeah. We're going to let the dogs out. Woo! Spring break. We're going to let the dogs out. Uh oh. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But for now, we're going to do a quick little cheers. See y'all guys. <laughs> Shout out to DJ Mickey. Our day came to a close in NASA, but our last day on board was just about to begin. Our last night at dinner was spent having hibachi at Azumi's. the last night um, back on board took a little nap um, I think we showed Christina an amazing time in the Bahamas for a first timer almost too amazing because I think she's ready to tap out no bueno. we're gonna get like, some food in her belly here at Azumi for the Ibachi this time around um, they feed you pretty well here so this is the time you should be 
good to go uh, by the time we're done. So um, we both ordered the Izumi, which is the sea salads and lobster. Um, got the miso soup and got the lava cake. I got green tea and ice cream. So uh, yeah, here are some highlights from the dinner show and um, the dessert. The experience with the Izumi chefs is truly top notch. They are very talented in engaging with the guests. The food is good and you are guaranteed a good time. By the way, we met a best friend of the channel here, Veronica and her husband. Hey guys. If you didn't know, Izumi's is considered specialty dining for Royal Caribbean, so you do have to pay a premium per person to have dinner here, but it is always worth the experience. Way cheaper than the prices would be on land. Spaces only, no pools, hot tubs, or shops. Keep it safe. Post and tag your pics online. Cruising ducks. Christina got her first cruise duck. It looks like a soccer ball. <laughs> oh, congratulations! Oh, this is cute. Very cute. <laughs> so we are headed down stairs to go meet up with our friends Tyler and Ashley. Um, they are going to give us a tour of their mother's room, which is the captain's suite. So, hi. Hello. Welcome. <laughs> so, uh, we are going to go get a tour of the captain's suite, which I'm very excited about. I've never seen such a suite. We're headed downstairs to meet them at the bar right now. You can pretend like it's your room. Welcome to the... Just yes. ring the doorbell 50,000 times. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Come in, come in, come in. Hello, Mama. Thank you. Wonderful. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm Christina. I'm Christina. Very nice to meet you. Oh, I had the breeze. Hi, honey. How are you? This is beautiful. Oh, wow. We can move stuff, too. Yes. Whatever you need. Oh, this is perfect. Let me, like, let me, let me clear. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. That's the dining room table. <laughs> We got a nice bar area. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm hiding. I'm hiding. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Oh, and this is where the magic happens, guys. Wow. Oh, this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. Is this what I think it is? Yes, is that a good day? Yes, it is. What? Wow, amazing, a little artwork. You've got a double vanity. Beautiful, a full stand-up shower with premium soaps, shampoos, conditioner. Of course, the bidet, which is amazing. Let's head out to the Oh my god. The rotating TV. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And a curtain that you can. Yes. Private time. Get private if you want. <laughs> By myself. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> you've got a sectional in the living room. Does your cruise um, cabin have a living room? No, it doesn't. No. <laughs> got a beautiful vanity over here. The side. The bedroom, and then that cool TV. Wow. All right, show me the balcony. I'm, I'm worse, Actually, I thought that was gonna be scared. I really like it out here, so that's the thing. Oh, there's a light to it. Thank you. Is it on now? Uh, not yet. Oh, there is a door from her room, and then she's got two lounge chairs. Oh, there's a light. Oh, there we go. Two lounge chairs to put wherever you'd like. Um. 
And then you've got a table and chair over here. Let me just come on this end so you can see end to end. This is the entire balcony. Go on the other end. Go on the other end so they can see. Wow. I bet Fane could do like 15 cartwheels out here from Travel Spree. Absolutely. This is a amazing. This is pretty wow. Are these closets? Yeah. Oh, let's. Well, move up away. Yeah. Okay, Mama. Love you. Love you guys. Call me in the morning. Have fun. Spacious closets. And a row. And a row. A row. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have left the row. Oh, yeah. Right? That's why I've been spending so much time up here. <laughs> I would have been chilling. It's quite nice, yes. Yeah. You get the sound of the ocean. It's beautiful. Yeah. I love that and so I'm Cancer. My moon is Pisces. My welcome welcome is to my crib. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Captain Sweet. Wow. With my swivel TV. Oh, I think this is mostly good size for the most part. It takes a lot to get me like complete with the, the sound bar. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, so you can have, you know, know stereo perfect. surround yeah. sound. Yeah. Good friends. You know what I'm saying? Only thing that made this better if it came up oh, from the floor. Uh, <laughs> Early 2000s like, style. Yeah, right now. Real Caribbean, <laughs> take note. Well, right yeah, now, write this down, Real Caribbean. Okay. Come it's rise from the floor. Yeah. I'm sure they have that. It's so on so some shit. Whenever I'm around, I've been taking a lot of advantage of this room. <laughs> yeah, I can see. I would definitely be on it too. I'd be out in the balcony. No, be like, I'm going to go take a bubble bath and then just put the towel on and then go to the balcony, enjoy myself. I right on I know. Uh, you got packed? And they yeah. got doorbell. Yeah. And a doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> I can be a little annoyed with yeah. the guy. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Have fun, you guys. Love Thank you. you. Yeah, I really see this one. Yeah, I know this room is nuts. Excuse me, sir. Um, <laughs> the royal suite. Kind of. After that amazing room tour, we headed to the bar to grab a drink and then over to the Battle of the Sexes game show with Tyler and Ashley. This is can't miss adult fun. Right, so the they split the room in half, right. boys to the left, exactly. girls to the right, no, and right. called up various groups to come up and complete some tasks. I'm gonna let you watch a few of the ridiculous tasks that we had. Hey. 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 All right, well, let's tap your hand, put your hand out. Some of y'all are yeah. As everyone can see, the woman is celebrating because y'all had 73 women. Just, one of the questions for Crazy Quest was, I need a lady to show me a piercing that's not in your ear. And one of the last ladies that came up, she might still be in here, she went to our cruise director, y'all. Our cruise director. This man may be over 60. And she went to him with a dress on to show him a piercing. She was like, he was like I want to see all that. Let you know you already lost, so this is his bonus. Oh, oh, we got one to a chair. Oh, oh, all right, go back to your seats. Go back to your seats. We 
winner of Battle of the Sexes Freedom 2023 goes to So Battle of the Sexes is a lot of fun. Christina got up on stage and participated. We did terrible. Our team did terrible. Oh, yeah. But we... <laughs> we got it by the end. The yeah, third yeah, round. yeah. We got the point on, in the third round, finally. <laughs> but um, anyways, we are officially at the end of the cruise. All that's left is the nightclub, as you guys know. But before we close out the vlog, it is time. It is now time to see. <laughs> Have we converted the Crusader? <sighs> I'm nervous a little bit. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't know what you're gonna say. <laughs> and to a, I mean, I feel like she's been having a good time, but she still might be like, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I just go fly. Who knows? I just go. Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> you ready? Yeah. Okay. His eyes closed. <laughs> All right, best friends. As a cruise hater, mm -hmm. have you now turned into a cruise lover? Mm, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely, I'm going to say that I'm going to add it into what I do as far as like doing my normal trips. I'm going to still fly places for sure. Yay! But now I have like just another way of traveling. I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay. All right. So when do you, wouldn't, would you do another cruise this year? This year, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. I think I think anybody who's thinking about doing a cruise more than once a year is definitely a cruise lover. Yeah. No, I definitely say I've been converted. What was the biggest thing that changed your mind? Mmm, that's hard. Um ugh, I think I can't say it's one specific thing. It's just the things I was unsure of about cruising are no longer like something that I'm concerned with like I talked about before like having enough time off the boat today I would be on ready to get back on the boat because I was so drunk <laughs> um just yeah those few things that I think a lot of people that don't go on cruises or don't necessarily like cruises like I was when I first started this um the typical things you think of with cruising aren't valid anymore would you look at that um I do you still think cruises are like the Titanic? No. <laughs> I've been saying the whole damn trip. I'm like, why are we still floating? It's, so, it's such a big boat. Like, you see from the outside, specifically today, when I seen how big like this actual boat was, again, in my head, I'm like, and how do we float? But, <laughs> um, no, no Titanic. I, th I think I'm safe. Yeah. Yeah, you are. And I think after seeing the captain suite that we saw. Oh, that was, yeah. See, that's a problem. <laughs> I can be a little bit bougie, just a little bit. So after seeing that, I'm like, I want a bathtub <laughs> in my room. I would like a bidet. Yeah. Um, seeing where the what, what could be possible in cruise suites. And that suite was really nice. There's definitely amazing suites out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is freedom of the seas. You guys, as some of you guys know, the the bigger ships have even crazier suites. Um, but it's nice to see what the, the possibilities can be. You can yeah. really truly make cruising um, the vacation that you want. It's like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. So, True. so yeah. Well, best friends, we did it. <laughs> If you have a friend that you've been trying to get to cruise for a long time, get them to watch the series mm -hmm. and just indulge, right? It, I hope the series can answer all the questions that they have about whether or not it's worth cruising. Is it scary? Am I going to get sick? Is it worth my time? Is it boring? Is it just a bunch of old people? Um, you know, there's so many questions that um, non-cruisers have about cruising and a lot of people ask me all the time. Um, and I, I hope this series just debunks Definitely all know. of that. Yeah. Um, so don't be afraid to cruise. If you are currently a non-cruiser who is curious about it, I hope that this gives you the green light. This is a sign that you need to book that cruise with your friends who have been trying to get you to go. 
get up on that cruise you have a great time and you definitely won't regret it yeah. did it y'all i mean i knew i knew i was gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I she is, okay she's beyond competitive <laughs> so this was like <laughs> the biggest challenge for her guaranteed yeah i i definitely put in work for her to have a great uh four days on here i am tired so yeah <laughs> so with that being said we're gonna hit up the club one more last time we're gonna pack it up and we head it out Thank you so much for watching once again, Vacation Vibes, and stay tuned. We have so many more videos coming this year, so many more um, trips, cruises, everything up ahead. What would you like to see next? Drop it in the comments down below. Let's see what's happening next time. Bye! So, if you're a cruise hater or just a cruise virgin, are you now ready to try a cruise? And for my cruise lovers, would you be down for a cruise with your girl? You never know what may happen in the future.